<laughs> I loved her! Jeez, my code, so you really fell for this girl kind of in one day? I stayed in Hina's room last night. She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. Yo, what is this is this is evolving into something else? <laughs> I will slap you. Please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom. They actually have a courtroom built here. Um, I'll meet you all down there. I have an alibi though. In a way, I, I, I'll, I'll, Hina, yo, Hina was there. Hina said I wasn't in the place with a knife and stuff. So, yeah, let's just get this started. I have no reason just to sit around here. Well then. Well then. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Hey. No, no. Scared isn't quite right. Right. Makoto. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you never come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Saika's death. I didn't mean someone else to get to tell me to do that. In Saika's honor, I swear I'll find out who the killer is! Yo, okay, Makoto. As I raise my voice to try and give myself courage, I turn, trembling with anticipation, toward the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race, race faster and faster. Everyone else was already on the elevator when I finally stepped on. The doors closed and the elevator started to move. Odds are against me. Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered, elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. The bowels of the school. Okay, oh, this iconic setting. Okay, okay. Everyone find your assigned seats and sit down. Yippee! Hurry up now, hurry up! Look at the little belly button. These were arranged in a giant circle. It was set up so that everyone can see everyone else. Yo, this is, okay, so we see the, the two fallen ones. And so the curtain on our first case opened. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Uh, okay, let's get this. Let's go. All rise! There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Good oh, question. No reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Technically, what's okay, that mean? What do you mean by started. that? To begin the debate, decide who we think the killer is. Hey, okay, I see you on that dolly zoom. Anything I found, anything I noticed, I have to be ready to speak up about everything. <laughs> because this isn't just about me. Everyone's lives are on the line. Your first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Yeah, please. A few moments later. Well then, good luck and have fun. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Make your argument. Evidence of struggle. Uh. Yeah, she was. Yeah. Yeah. The killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. She did have a chance to resist. Something about what was just said. Because if Saika hadn't resisted at all, there's no explanation on what happened in my room. For the first debate, we'd like to take a quick sidebar. If you're unable to spot and refuse someone's lives or conscience or anything, we'll repeat. Your truth bullets are only effective against these weak spots. When you see one come up and aim for the fire, but only if you're sure it's actually wrong. What? Oh, I have to aim for the head? Ah! Hold up, hold up, hold up. I feel like, am I messing this up? The orange statement! <laughs> okay, so I have to aim for the actual orange one. Okay, there we go. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so it's the orange one. Okay, orange area. Just a second, Chihiro. Try to yeah, your room. How my room 
Yeah, it was it was messed up. Room was yeah. The way things had been uh -huh. damaged, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. Mm -hmm. A struggle between who and who? Between Sayaka and the kid, of course. Yeah. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? She yeah. She had been attacked in the main room first. Then she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. I like your accent. The killer followed her in. And that's where they finished the job. Mm -hmm. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. Yo, shut up. Sorry. You're right, though. <laughs> Next is the subject of the murder weapon. It was a knife, and we know it's from the kitchen. We need to determine what was used to kill Saika. Yep. We know it was a knife. What do you mean it was determined? We know we, everyone saw it was a knife. Okay. Yep. Kitchen knife set. Okay. So what was used to kill her? It was some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. So the killer used some random knife they had on him. It wasn't a random knife. It was from the no, kitchen. Yeah! It wasn't random. It was from the kitchen. No. I do think it was a knife. But not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen, kitchen knife. Haha. <laughs> ha. Yo, this is hype. Knife? After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Mm-hmm. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. Yeah. And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Uh-huh. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife. But where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? You know what? Leon, I want to punch you, man, too. Makoto's room was you too. Let's draw our conclusions after we presented our arguments. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone is... Well, Half of these people are me. trash. Gonna... She's right. There's got to be a breakthrough somewhere. Just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well I'm not the killer. <laughs> There's a bit more to learn with the non-stop debates. Would you like to... Yeah, what else is there? What else is there? A few moments wow. later. Well then, good luck and have fun. So, if I press space bar, wow, okay. Okay, Al, okay. Help, help me, please. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? Koto must have taken it from the kitchen, right? Someone was in the dining room. Yeah. Ooh, I like that transition. <laughs> okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Ooh. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what you were telling me earlier? Just to be perfectly clear. The knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Y yeah. So right. who was in there? And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um... Don't no, say I don't I think, think, think so. Just say I didn't. I think so. Ah, see, I knew he was going to point that out. No, he definitely wasn't there. Thank you. Then what about this? What about this? What? what? The idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together. Oh, to I knew I knew that was another thing to pop up. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? Ooh, good question. So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the only killing. Only the person who does the killing will get the kill. Okay, interesting. Thanks for so letting me know about that. In other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Yeah, that's just crazy. Why would you even like work with someone there's then? There's no way anyone would work together, right? Yeah. What what kind of benefit would you have? Uh, good grief! Enough already. No, <laughs> okay. There are no. <laughs> I like how I like how he just he just he just oh, enough of that. Did I say that out loud? Ooh, anyway, thank you for the info. Backing backing me up, Monokuma. <laughs> Monokuma actually helped us out. After all, she oh, dang, now he knows. <laughs> Yo, I kind of feel bad. But hey, it's not me. No, no way. I swear it wasn't me. Sure. But can you or anyone else prove that? Ooh. I can. 
Oh. That's right. Surprise. Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. But then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? <laughs> that guy. No. Because, um... What? Well... Just what? Yeah, what are you about to reveal now? I stayed in Hina's room last night. I got so scared oh. because of those creepy videos. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking. Well, she's, I imagine she said that with no context. <laughs> Which means I stayed in her room last night. Airtight alibis. Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Mm. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah, who, one other who else walked in? did come to the dining hall while we were there. Why didn't you say mm. so in the first place? Well, because they're not Junko. Here. Are you talking about Sayaka? Oh, she's the one. Who Sayaka the was the one. Okay, the person who took the knife from the kitchen was. Why would Sayaka take the knife from her own room? Yeah, but hey, Hina has airtight alibi. What's up with Monokuma? Why is he a choice under there? Throw me off? I got it. Then Sayaka is the one who took the knife? Yeah, but why would she take the knife? So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? Why are you saying it like I, like I said something case, stupid? You may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. You know what? Yeah, I've had enough of you. That makes no sense. You shut up. No, Wait, we going with this man? Don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die. Hold on. It's still too early Thank to you, Kyoko. That Makoto man. Is killer, wouldn't you say? The first Hangman Gammons was about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. A few moments later. Something that should have been at the scene but wasn't. That's a crucial point. Yeah, what could that be? Okay, Makoto, let's let's do this, man. Oh! Okay. Yeah, I knew it was hair, yeah. Yes, the hair! But the lint that's roller... Right. Okay, forgot about that. Yeah, that's the thing I... Yeah, that's the thing I couldn't connect. Okay, I said that earlier, too. The culprit removed some evidence? Mm -hmm. Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? Good point. It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. We got a dude fired up next to me. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. That makes sense, does it not? No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself. Yeah, exactly, not yeah, because her body's still in my room in my bathroom. Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Oh, means I'm clear. I am clear. Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? Yo, shh. We were on a roll, and Ishimura, no. man. There are other oh. reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. Hey, hey. I would like to hear these reasons. Same. I, I'd like to know more, even though I probably have an idea of something. About the bathroom at the scene? The doorknob and all that stuff, yeah. The object the killer broke. They broke the doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. Mm-hmm. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? Why would he wouldn't? What would you? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. You're crazy. You just break your door because you can't open it? Okay then. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, what what else can we say about the door frame? Related to the door frame. Yeah, the fact that only me and Sai can knew how to open it. Mm-hmm. Was first attacked in the main room. Yeah, we know that. She then fled into the bathroom. Yep. Then the killer ran after her. Mm hmm And they got into the bathroom. Mm -hmm. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. And finally, the culprit had Sayaka cornered. And to finish the job, they stabbed her with the kitchen knife. It was you, wasn't it, Makoto? Admit it. We already know the answer. It's not because the door is locked. 
No, this is a different reason entirely. Yeah, okay. It was the second part. <laughs> At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. No, that's wrong. Yeah, she too. Lock it. I'm trying to remember that part. I don't remember that part. That's why. The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. Yeah, because it was stuck. After yeah. All, the girls yeah. Rooms are the only ones yes. That true. True. Right. True. Yeah. Okay. Forgot about that. My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Mm -hmm. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Ooh, he can. Yep. True as true. He can. Yo, Monokuma helped me know? twice now. You should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one. Yes, because the door the things the, the names place were switched. Do they mean Saika's room as in my room or my room as in Saika's room? Yeah, they didn't know it was actually my room. Yeah. That it was my room. Okay, okay, I follow that. Okay, so I, okay, that sentence made sense. Okay. Oprah didn't even know where he was. <laughs> That's inconceivable. And yet, he's absolutely right. He is. I am. <laughs> well, to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that <laughs> Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms. Yep. I was just wondering, how did the culprit That's a good question. How did they even get in there? In the first place? Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. Well, she went That's to the kitchen life. for some reason to grab the knife. So. Why'd she grab a knife? Who knows? So maybe on her way back, there's no way Sayaka let someone in because... Because I'm overthinking things. Scared. Okay, I'm overthinking Remember? things. My mistake. That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. Yep. The same goes for you, Saika. No matter who it is, don't. Yeah. Okay. If I'm sure it's you, I you won't open it otherwise. What's the point of even switching? Knowing what she'd been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. Mm hmm. What if her being scared was a lie? Ooh. Huh? Well, what the hell is that she wasn't to actually afraid. Why would she lie about something like that? I know you don't want to consider it, but look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the possibility? There's something I want to talk to you about. Just feel this. In five minutes, come see me in my room. Saika. Check the nameplates and make sure you don't get it wrong, okay? I found a notepad during my search. And I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. Okay, so it was something up with the notepad. So, Makoto, did you write this? No, I didn't. But of course you didn't. Because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Saika's signature. Okay. Then that note. Saika wrote it? But, but why? Why would she write that? Mm -hmm, good question. Her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. Who? She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. Yo, what is this? Is this is evolving into something else? Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? Yeah, we switched rooms. In the note, the place they were asked to come to, it specifically says my room. I see. So if someone read that note. Then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. So in other words, even if someone did read the note and did what it said, they would not have any connection to what happened. Mm. It certainly would seem that way. The girl went to my room and said Sayaka's, and the reason for that is, has to be a sense of yeah okay yeah okay we switched rooms the whole switch room situation is, is messing me up yeah the nameplates on my and Sayaka's rooms yeah they get switched yeah they got switched that's right the nameplates got switched just like the rooms themselves as a result, oh, okay, okay, I follow. Okay, I follow what she was saying in relation to the. Okay, I was missing. I was like trying to understand the whole room switching thing is messing me up because they keep saying Saika's room, but then now it's my room. Then my room was Saika's room, and Saika. The room Saika was staying in was actually marked as her room. Exactly. Then, if someone did do what the note said, they would end up at Makoto's room where Saika was. Yeah. Plus, their rooms are right next to each other. 
so switching the main plates would be no problem. Yep, it'd be an easy switch. Not too many people would take notice of that. Who switched the names was well, of course. Yeah, who switched you, the names? Right, then? Makoto? The only person who knew we had switched rooms. So it had to be Sayaka. I got it. Because the killer Ooh, didn't know that until she would do about is switching rooms. Yeah. Why would she switch them in the first So Sayaka for grabbing a knife at she night someone for someone is switching in. the rooms and also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. Yeah. First she invited over, came in and attacked her. Yeah. We know who did it. Whoever she invited over is the culprit. No kidding, Sherlock. Oh yeah. What's the deal with that? I think story? she was using she had to be using it. I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. But she ended Seems up having to use it to defend it herself. The killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. But how the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? Or break her wrist? Okay. We look at her wrist. There's no doubt. The thing on her hand. I got it. All you have to do is take a good look at her broken wrist, and it should become pretty clear. Right there where her wrist yeah. is all swollen. There's something glittery there. Uh-huh. The, the glitter glitter gold. Huh? I got it. Because she got hit with the sword. Okay, right so she was wrist. hit with sword. She didn't use it to defend herself, she used it. Okay. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Okay, what else are you gonna hit me with some more knowledge? What we said to me for this purpose? What? Why did it make it harder on me? Okay, let's do this. Okay, mouse cylinder. When the fighting broke out. Grab the sword, and that's when the first blow was dealt. The sword-based sneak attack. And that's what broke Miss my No, the first one. Okay, so the first one is it. So she tried to fight back. Kitchen knife. Okay. She grabbed the kitchen knife she had hidden away, but then the culprit took that from her too, and they killed her with it. Okay, I'm going to let it play out. Okay. That's exactly what happened. He's over here yawning, speaking. Okay, okay, I don't care. And that's when the first blow was dealt. The sword based sneak attack. Yeah, because this she came out. Okay. <laughs> Man. Actually, no. I don't think the fight started yeah. with the sword. Specifics, okay. Why not? Because the sword sheath had been scratched. Yes, it's also scratched too. There's a gash in mm -hmm. So they grabbed the sheath, trying to attack her with it. Sayaka defended herself with the kitchen knife. And then the what? The killer eventually knocked the sword out the knife out of her hand? Then stabbed her? So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife? Yes. Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used the sword to defend herself. Yeah, she had to have used the knife, yeah. What? How the hell can you not think that? Because the sword has scratches Because she on never it. held the sword at all. There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear. If you wanted to use the sword, you probably would have to use to touch it. Your palms. Palms are sweaty. Step up, palms, up, right? up, 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 up. Mom spaghetti. The palms <laughs> of her hands were perfectly clean. So I don't think she ever picked up the sword. Uh-huh. Really no way she could have picked it up. And come away completely clean. Mm-hmm. True, true, true. Speak Maybe the she truth. Washed her hands after she escaped into the yeah, she washed her hands in the middle of running away from the killer. Sorry, but I don't think so. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm ugly? No one's talking about you. This is why no one no, likes you. That's not it at all. You okay? I should have looked out the regulation regulations a little bit more. What the water's off at night? According to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's time of death was around 1.30 a.m. Yeah, I don't recall saying anything about being afraid of water, so by process of elimination. And the water in the bathroom shuts off at nighttime, right? Yeah. I didn't know that. Actually, I haven't taken a shower. Oh, my. <laughs> You're a little different. You smell like a big, fat, ugly donkey. 
Dang, that's rude. I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or a compliment. You want to smell like a donkey? Yeah, what the heck? So anyway, if There's some idiots over here, man. The one who down sheath would have to be the one without the sword. Sayaka. Yeah. Sayaka? She had the kitchen knife? But we already said that the attack started with... The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. Yeah. The one who attacked first was... Sayaka? So Sayaka now invited someone to try and kill them? Ooh. Almost wow! And she's gonna frame the dude Makoto? Sayaka wanted to on me? Yup, that's what's looking that like, man. That kinda hurts. Mm-hmm. Dang, that that she really does hurt. Get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. Then you're saying she had this. That is genius. That is ingenious of her. But in the end. The plan backfired, Jinx Yumi and Soda. She launched her yep. with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. Mm hmm. Just hold on! That can't be true! That can't be true! Because. Because. <laughs> I loved her! You She's my coat, so you really fell for this girl kind of in one day? Okay, I only have one. Dying message? Yes, the 11037. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? There is more clues. Say the like, who get what we did. You quiet, Leon. Dying message. She wrote something on the wall behind her, remember? 11037. Yeah, why should you write it like that, though? There's no question that Saika wrote that message, and I can prove it. The right wrist, left index finger, yeah, the index finger. I got it. Her left index finger had, had blood. blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write mm -hmm. the message. She said... <laughs> what the heck do those numbers mean? One, one, zero, three, seven? It looks like it says Leon. The numbers, assuming they're not numbers. You, well, the first thing I... <laughs> two, one, one, look less like two numbers and yeah, That's the like first thing I noticed with that. Oh, you're right. I was like, but why is it upside down? Barely there. Like, why is she right so upside down? It was one making one sure he didn't... Make sure the killer didn't see it. You could also read it as an N. Whoa. You might have finally just said something worth a shit. Mm-hmm. My <laughs> little gray cells are really getting excited. Ha <laughs> ha! Yo, let's go, let's go, let's go. Really is an N. N037. Doesn't make any more sense than before. You have to read the rest as the letters now. Makoto, connect the dots, man! Well, Leon. Here's my answer. The key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. If you turn the message around, it becomes the letters L E O N, L E O N, or more accurately, Leon. Uh, Leon. What the hell are you talking about? It's oh, why are you sweating? Why are you sweating? Why are you sweating now? It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. Why are you so no, mad? It's not random at all. Oh, yeah, he's been accused of murder, that's why. <laughs> if you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Ooh. Huh? The, the boiler room, or the, the trash can, yep. Shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. Hey, is your shirt ripped, my man? But one piece burned off, like got left behind. Leon, yo, man. Notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Hmm. Isn't that right, Leon? Oh. 
Ah. Is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Oh. Right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. We have other stuff that we could use. Yeah, right? Of course it's the last one. What kind of Okay, I regained my heart for that. So with how the shirt was disposed of, we should be able to figure out who the killer is. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're going to say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? This dude fired up. And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on either. Yeah, either. You need the key to get in. And the one with the key was... The person on cleaning duty. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy the evidence. No, that's wrong. Yeah, it's wrong, yeah. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key and he's also a baseball player he's the ultimate baseball player he could aim it perfectly <laughs> i like i just connected that as well i was like wait how could he like throw it perfectly in there the killer had to use the glass ball in a certain way which was yeah he rolled it over there he divided it he threw it obviously the killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the game mm -hmm. All they had to do was hit that switch, and the incinerator would come to life. Uh-huh. Someone threw that... Threw a gap in the gate? Mm-hmm. Remember what you said before, Hifumi? The buttons, the buttons, the buttons. Yeah. Yeah, he was also off last time it was here. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least... He's a baseball three, player! Right? He's trying to throw us off with his new getup. He's an ultimate baseball player. Look at this guy, liar. Yeah, say it, Makoto. Say it, say it. I have to say it. Imagine I fucked the wrong one by accident. Baseball star, isn't that right? Leon, Leon. Do you, do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? A target thirty feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. Mm -hmm. you, you, you can't be serious. I, What's your I, alibi, I, man? Killer. This goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong. I'm Come on, with your alibi, where are you at then? We have had like a bunch of evidence, and he hasn't said anything else. Okay, let's do this. A few moments later. Okay, if I'm wrong with anything, it's because of this thing. Because everything else is solid. The killer is you. I think I better take one more look back at the <laughs> 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 it's a theme song. <laughs> yep, they went in there. The thing with that. The killer went to the room Sayaka was in. Words, I'll be mad if I got that part wrong with those tell, two images. Invited that person there intending to kill them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. She attacked them with the knife she taken from the kitchen earlier. Yep. Mm-hmm. Had that, bumped into that, grabbed that, went and blocked it. Ow! But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. Yep, they broke her wrist. They grabbed the fake sword Yo, broken wrist hurts. That's <laughs> speaking from my experience. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. Mm hmm And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I get the, okay, I got that right. I was like, wait, hold up. <laughs> Uh huh. Close the bathroom door, and then they went the ding, ding, ding with the door. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to kill you. Actually, I'm here to kill you now. Like, mess herself up, man. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife. Mm-hmm. Yep. Rest in peace. Yep, and then she wrote down the name. No. So with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. Mm -hmm. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. Uh huh. Dang. And there we go, right in the gut. All her strength was gone. <laughs> Act three now. <laughs> quickly began destroying Getting the rid evidence. of the evidence. Yep. I drank all my water. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Uh huh. <laughs> then they took the liquor around my room and cleaned up the entire area. Uh huh. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been in. Uh huh. In. That was smart, but. Kind of messed up that that didn't work in their favor. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there. But the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, uh -huh. preventing access to the incinerator. Indido, indido. Grab the ball and so said. They came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he left in the laundry room. Mm -hmm. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator. So, give God good props for the aim, though. <laughs> for any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot. Uh huh. And that's because the killer was the, the ultimate, ultimate baseball, baseball star. star. Yep, did that, broke that. The crystal ball. Thrown with absolute precision, mm -hmm. hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. <laughs> Yo, he said roared to life. Okay, using some adjectives. No verb. Adjective. No verb. Yeah, what am I saying? Adjective. Use some verbs, man. Okay. You destroyed the final piece of evidence. Roar? Is that a verb? <laughs> I don't know, man. A sigh of relief. It's not an adjective. An adverb. Is. It's just a verb. <laughs> Part of the shirt they throw yep, into the a burnt out. Burnt away, not full proof. Man, you could have aimed it better into the incinerator. Wow. It's a verb? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> yep, you are the one. Yeah, we can say Leon. Yeah. It would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. <laughs> you went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, and that's where you saw it, right? Right. Uh huh. Exactly. Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. Worked out for him. Sometimes during a clash draw, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. Uh huh. When this happens, you engage them in a head-to-head -head battle. Okay, Leon, let's go. I like to refer to this as the bullet time battle, aka the BTB by the way. Okay, I might I might mess this up. <laughs> the moment of truth. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. It me. Oh. Where's your proof? This should prove it. Okay, that that was easier than I thought. This is a rhythm game. Okay. <laughs> Dude, Leon's argument was weak. What was that? Just call me stupid. This dude, Leon, man. <laughs> yep. This dude, weak. Get out of here, Leon. Mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then. The screwdriver will show some evidence of being... It will. It will. You're in trouble. Huh? And if you say you used it for something else... Yo, Leon. More like Bion. <laughs> that, that was a terrible joke. <laughs> Yo. Huh? I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. It's not. Stupid. Stupid. 
What famous last words these are. Goodbye, Leon. <laughs> I don't play for this. <laughs> Yo, this dude Leon was weak though, man. Okay, so I got an A on most things. I got B on, what was that, section 6? Yeah, Saika though in the end, she was the, <laughs> you know, she was the one who, Leon was the, he was, in a way he was the victim of the, of this incident, but in the end, goodbye man, you still killed man, and hey, I'm trying to get out. That is crazy though, when you think about it. Hey! Oh. Yikes! Leon has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Well, Leon. Yikes! <laughs> Everyone just watching. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Dang, that must hurt. Yo, got scratches all over the. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm just a little baseball field. But you gonna be killed by baseballs? That would be terrible. Yikes. Oh, man, like this, and y'all witnessing this? Oh, man. The 1000 blow? 1,000 blows? Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. So much pain. Ah! I'd keep my eyes closed for that. But they're not going to show us what he looks like, are they? They are. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, this is the reality y'all in. <laughs> Everyone crying. This is despair. No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone. Their voice is dead. But it was in that in moment. Just a second. Makoto, can't talk to you for a second? Oh. In private? She moved in closer and whispered into my ear. Makoto. Oh, what's up? Before you head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. Oh. Hey. Yo, Saika's gone now, so. <laughs> Saika meant to double cross you. That's a fact that you can never change. But till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why. As she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Saika would know for sure, and we can't ask her now. However, Even if you can't ask her, you can't infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? So... Yeah, she didn't have to do the message thing. She didn't have to do that. I'm going to carry them with me for the rest of my life. How could I possibly move, fa move past? Something like that. Leon, Saika, I'll carry them with me forever. I carry the murders with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm impressing her? As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Oh. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Saika? Oh, well. I'm psychic. What? Kidding, I have pretty good intuition. Makoto over here trying to re live Saika through him. Well, that was chapter one. That was a nice first chapter.